Hello Scrappers and Planet Lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today I want to show you what's inside one of these old laptops. Okay, there's a lot of goodies inside. There's some gold, there's some silver, there's some aluminum, uh, some copper, uh, a lot of metal. Uh, the nice thing about one of these laptops is I could bring this in as is to a scrapyard. There is a category for electronics, um, computers, TVs, laptops, they all go have a electronic price, okay, it's paid by the pound. Uh, it's not a great price, but it's a better price than someone just throwing it into the landfill. Um, this doesn't work. What I'm doing, because it doesn't work, I'm going to take it apart, uh, show you where all the gold is and uh, how to maximize your profits, okay? For the sake of this video and sake of time, there are a lot of screws, uh, and I've already taken them out on the bottom, um, around the frame, okay? There are a lot of circuit boards, there are a lot of portals where uh, different uh, disk drives come out of. Uh, unfortunately, I am not a computer uh, person, so I don't know what the correct terminology is for all of these um, different um, things are, uh, but I just, I do know where the gold is and the precious metals. So here we go. Um, again, in order to get at this, you have to take out the screws around the bottom. Okay. And there are several different um, places where you are going to find a um, scrap or um, circuit boards, okay? Uh, but I'm gonna start at the top, okay? So I've already taken this plastic panel off, okay? This is a, a compact Presario. Um, there is your control uh, buttons. On the back, there is a lot of plastic, okay? But there is also a lot of metal. So this, if I took a, a magnet, this is magnetic. So I can take this plastic off. It's just bolted in by a couple screws. Okay, so this is going to go into my metal. Um, there is a circuit board right here that does have a couple screws around it. So I'm going to take that out just to show you. All right. um, I'm, I have to use an Allen key. Okay, so there is an Allen key that, uh, that's needed for this and a very small um, screwdriver set. Um, but, you know, it, it's just a lot of little screws to take out. And there are a couple circuit boards in here that are different graded. There is uh, lower grade boards, there is some higher grade boards. And I actually do have another video on circuit boards. So... Uh, that tells you the different grades and what you can find on different circuit boards. So if you're interested in that, go check that out. Um, but here we go. This circuit board, if I pull it out, has a really nice border that looks like gold. And that is because it is gold. There is a fine brush of gold around the outside and in the middle. I could take this in as is. Uh, and get a higher grade board price. Unfortunately, you have to check with your scrapyard. Um, some scrapyards actually will just put it all in one category. Mine does, okay, that I take this stuff to. So what I actually do is something like this, I actually would just hold on to. Um, here is another circuit board that came out of this computer. Uh, as you can notice, there is some gold on the bottom. So I can take this in as well and get um, circuit board price. But because of the gold and because I don't get max dollar for this circuit board, I actually just take a pair of scissors and I cut down the strip to get the gold and I put the gold in a little container and then one day hopefully I can uh, mix it with some proper chemicals and uh, extract the gold, okay? So these are higher grade boards. Uh, this one also has this little cord, okay, that connects to it has on the top there, if you can see it, silver. So that is silver. So what I do is I actually cut off that end and I put this into my silver bucket. Okay, so that is the first two circuit boards that come out of um, the, the top or the, the control panel. I do have to get my silver off, okay? And 
There is some brass screws here. Unfortunately, I they're very difficult to take out. I could take a pair of pliers and take them out um, and put them into my dirty brass bucket. Um, but this is plastic, and unfortunately, I can't do anything with the plastic other than throw it in the garbage. Okay. I'm going to show you a couple other small circuit boards that come off the bottom. Okay, so the CD drive case does have circuit board in it as well. Um, there is not really any precious metals on this little circuit board, so this would be lower grade. Okay, or um, because this is, let's see if it's. It's not magnetic, which is great. So this cover, I uh, just have to take a screwdriver and pop this out, and there is some tape that surrounds it, so I have to cut that off. This case is actually aluminum, okay? So this one is, and this one is, so this is clean aluminum. It's not very heavy, but aluminum right now is about 40, 40 cents a pound clean, so I just put it into a bucket and um, save it up. This came off of the bottom, right in here. Okay, so this is the bottom of the computer. You can notice the prongs are also gold. Okay, so these are gold. Um, I will pry those off and put them into my gold bucket. Okay, or you can take this in as is and get, uh, if your scrapyard takes it, higher grade circuit board. The other circuit board that I found right here has two things. It has, right here, sorry. This has a sheet of aluminum. It has the projector eye, okay? So that actually came out of the CD um, drive. Okay, so that's what reads the CDs. Okay, um, this is what I was actually showing you. So there is a nice fine piece of um, gold that I'm gonna cut off. It also had on it a battery, okay? So this battery is lead, okay? And I was taught by Moose the Scrapper that if it reads lithium on the top, then it actually has silver uh, on the top. So I'm gonna throw this into my silver battery uh, bin, okay? If it doesn't say lithium on it, it's just regular battery, okay? Either way, it's better to divert it from the landfill. I don't like seeing lead going into the water system or the ground, so this is gonna go into my silver battery containers. Okay, I'm gonna get into the keyboard, okay? So the keyboard is covered. Um, I pried that off, and it comes with a nice aluminum sheet, okay? On this aluminum sheet, where the push buttons are, Okay, this is actually just garbage. I gotta be careful I don't turn it over because all those keys are gonna fall out. It has a really nice, thin plastic sheet, okay? I just pry it off very easily in the corner with the knife. Okay, it comes off. This is actually silver. There is silver going all the way through this circuit board. You can find these in microwaves, control panels. Uh, so what I will do is I will actually just, you know, roll it up and once I actually hit my silver with nitric acid. I'm hoping that it extracts the silver out of here. Okay, there's not much, but there is silver. Okay, as well, as I said, this is a really nice piece of aluminum. Okay, so the screen, the screen has plastic around it. Um, the screen, this screen, I'm actually just gonna take this screen in and drop it off at my electronics um, depot facility because I don't wanna see it go in the garbage and I'm sure those places can recycle this further. It does have, uh, it is mounted with some steel. Okay, so there is steel on the back here. Okay, but I'm not going to take that apart. I'm just gonna leave it as is so they can recycle it properly. I do want to take out this main circuit board. Okay, so there's a couple things that I want to take out. As you can see, there is another group of teeth of gold that I want to take out. There is a fan, copper motor, or uh, sorry, a copper bearing fan there that's got a copper bearing motor in it. There is a nice thing of copper there, okay? There is also a really nice aluminum heat sink that I'm gonna pry off of there. Um, this board would be a higher grade board, and the reason it is is because of the gold. 
but also there are four screws here that I've already taken out. Okay, so I'm gonna lift this out. Okay, so again, I'm just, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut as much copper off there as I can. I'm gonna put in my number two copper because uh, it is welded on to this aluminum. Okay, uh, the aluminum I would throw into my dirty aluminum pile. Right here is a nice chip and it's held down with a spring. So I'm gonna actually have to take a, put my safety glass on because I don't want anything to fire back at me. I'm just going to open it, there we go. I'm gonna lift it. And as you can see underneath, there is a really nice gold chip. I take all these, these are found in your uh, computer towers, laptops, okay? These are gold, okay? So um, I can refine that. That's why you get um, electronic price because electronic, uh, you know, they know that there's gold in there, so do scrapyards, okay? This also has some prongs of gold in it, but it's very difficult to take off. Uh, I just leave it on there for weight. Um, there are some screws that keep this circuit board in. And what I will do is I will take this circuit board out. I will take the gold out, uh, but I will throw this into my, you know, circuit board uh, pile. I also am gonna take off this aluminum heat sink. Very easy. I just take a screwdriver. Just bolt it in sometimes. I just gotta get it underneath. Sometimes it's glue. Actually, maybe I'll just take a hammer. No, it's not coming out right now. I'm gonna have to pry it out. And that's fine, but that's a nice little heat sink. Um, and other than that, like I said, there are a couple little circuit boards that I am gonna have to take out. There's another one that's got a little bit of gold on it. Um, so, and a little bit of aluminum that I'm gonna take out of here. But all in all, there is very little waste in here other than the plastic shell on both sides. Okay. And again, as I said, you've got nice gold. You've got some copper from the heat sink. You've got a bunch of pieces of aluminum. You have the, alu the um, silver from the, from the keypad and a lot of materials diverted from the landfill, which is the most important. Hope you found this video informative. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Tin Man out.